the high and Z button in Los Cabos. Ooh, baby. For those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Danny Gould and I'm the hotel guy. Over the last 30 years, I've stayed in hundreds of hotels around the world. And as a hotel enthusiast, I figured I might as well share all of my experiences and my reviews with you. So today I'm going back into the archives to bring you a full review of the Grand Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos which is in Cabo San Lucas and is a five-star Hyatt resort, all-inclusive, all you can eat. And I'm here to bring you the good, the bad, the ugly, and everything in between. So let's get started. The first word that comes to mind when thinking of the Grand Hyatt Ziva is luxury. The second that you walk in there, the ceilings and just everything about that property, when you walk in, you see the beach and everything, it's luxury, you know? And there's no other way to really describe it other than that. The staff upon arrival was attentive enough, but I do gotta say that when we got there, it was a bit of a shit show. I was there for a conference and pretty much everyone was checking in at the same time. So just imagine hundreds of American tourists swarming the check-in desk. That's basically what it was. It was, it was. it was a freaking nightmare. But after that, things got a lot better. The second word that comes to mind when thinking about this resort is massive. Like this is one of the larger resorts that I've ever stayed at. And I've stayed at quite a few uh, large resorts. So the amount of real estate that this property occupies is unreal. To put it in perspective for you, this hotel literally has 14 bars and restaurants and coffee shops around the entire property. 14. Did I try every single one of them? No, it was impossible for me to do that in like the four days that I was there. It was kind of like Disneyland, but in a hotel, like just trying to figure out, okay, like what new novel thing am I going to try today? And the possibilities felt literally endless. So massive luxury. That's my first impression of this hotel. Obviously, because the resort is right on the beach, it definitely gives a beachy vibe. I mean, everything about the property is like tropical, beachy kind of feel. Not to mention this hotel has massive pools on site. Pools, we're talking pools and pools of water on site. And then you walk a little bit and then you're on the beach. So if that's the kind of experience that you're going for, this is one of the best hotels that I've ever been to that has that, you know, beach pool combination. Funny enough, I've been to a lot of Hyatts on the beach like this and they're all pretty spectacular. All right, so let's talk about the room. And I do have to preface this by saying that I was actually an invited guest to this conference. And so in terms of like room details and what the pricing was and all of those things, unfortunately, I, I do not have that for this particular hotel. And while I don't have the exact room details, I will give my honest feedback on what the rooms look like and what they felt like. And so what I can say is that the room that I stayed in was good, not great. Given how luxurious the how many areas were, it was actually a little bit of a letdown when I went inside the room. It's not like it was a bad room by any stretch of the imagination. It's just that it was almost like a three and a half star room in a five star resort. So there wasn't anything special about the room. There wasn't anything bad, but it was just a very plain room. I will say two things that I did like about this room was the bed was comfy. So that's always a plus. And there was also a balcony overlooking the pool. And so I spent a lot of the nights on the balcony, just kind of like chilling. And that was a really nice thing that not every hotel has. And so I will say that those were two added bonuses. So that brings us to the Hotel Guy official room score, which is going to be a four and a half out of seven. Again, nothing special, but not bad either. So just a little bit above average is what I would give the room. But let's be honest, if you're doing the resort the right way, you are spending practically zero time in, in the room. And so to me, this hotel was about so much more than just the room. And that's why even though the room score is a little bit lower, everything else was just amazing. So like, that's what I want to focus on because the room wasn't a standout and it's not supposed to be because you go there, you sleep, and then you spend the rest of the day like lounging by the pool, the beach, enjoying the endless supply of food and beverage that you can get there. So really the room score, although lower than I would have anticipated it being for it being a five-star resort, it really didn't impact my experience that much, if I'm being honest. Now let's talk about the food because the food on site was spectacular. There was an abundance of different cuisines on site. There's obviously many. Mexican cuisine, there was Italian cuisine, there was American like steaks, there were buffets, there was a teppanyaki place. So there was no shortage of food and beverage on site. And I will say that the all-inclusive package basically gets you access to like any and all of those restaurants and they were all pretty good. The true standout for me on the dining side of things was the teppanyaki restaurant called Dozo. And if you have an opportunity to go check that place out, highly recommend it. It was a really fun time. You know, the 
did the whole like you know thingy in front of you and like did the show teppanyaki show so it was really cool to have that experience because i would not have expected to have that experience at a resort in mexico let alone have it be the standout so if you are going to the hyatt ziva i would highly recommend that you check that place out the drinks on site were also very good in terms of the other amenities on site if you are an avid gym goer i would say that the gym there at the ziva is an above average hotel gym it, it wasn't one of the best gyms that i've had when i've stayed at other resorts but it was definitely like not bad either plenty of cardio machines they have dumbbells there there's free weights but like it's not a huge you know assortment of weights i do recall them having a bench press so if like you're into benching and stuff like that you can get that in which is pretty rare because most hotel gyms just don't have like barbells so that is one cool thing about that gym is that they had barbells but aside from that it would like the equipment was actually kind of older so even though it was like a well-equipped gym it was a lot of like older gym equipment so that brings us to the pool the pool is one of the standouts of the entire resort i mean it is the centerpiece, it's the center point of the hotel. And so when you walk in, one of the first things that you're going to see as you kind of like go down the stairway and everything is this is just like massive pool. And it's not just one pool, it's like this assortment of pools like in the center of the uh, resort. And so it is 1000% a pool resort. And what can I say? It's just a really fun time. So there is a loungy area. So if you're looking for more of like sunbathing and that sort of thing, there is absolutely a place to do that. And then obviously you can go inside the pool and there's food shacks there, like right next to the pool. So you don't really have to like move that far to get food and drinks. And definitely think that the pool is one of the highlights of the hotel. So that brings us to the Hotel Guy official amenity score for the Hyatt Ziva. And I'm going to be giving the Hyatt Ziva a 6.25 out of seven. It is one of the better hotels that I've stayed at just in terms of overall environment and amenities. I will say that that is heavily influenced by the amazing dining options on site. I would say that like, if you're looking for somewhere where you can just like pay a fixed amount and never feel like you have to venture outside. Like if you just want a resort to chill out for like five days, this is one of the better options that I've stayed at. The food there is great. There's plenty of options so that your palate never gets bored. The pool is super fun. You're right next to the beach. The gym is above average. So really the amenities are what make this hotel. And for that reason, I'm getting a 6.25 out of seven because it really was that good. I'd say the two things that I think could make it a little bit better is that the drinks weren't like amazing there, at least from what I had to drink. I, I didn't think the drinks were like incredible. And so I think that they could elevate their game there. And then also I, I do believe that there were some parts of the hotel that were a little bit older, like the gym that could have been renovated, but that was also superseded by like the amazing common areas where everything looks so modern and the furniture was super comfortable to sit in like all of the chairs outside uh wherever you sat was just like super comfy so it really was a luxurious resort and most of the amenities were great it's just there were some that were a little bit older and outdated and so like if those had been elevated and the drinks had been elevated the score would have been even higher so now let's talk about the staff i will say that the staff experience was not memorable which doesn't mean that it was bad, but it doesn't mean that it was exceptional either. There was nothing that stood out about the staff or the service. It was reliable, it was on time, there was never any issues, but there were never any like amazing moments other than the chefs at the Teppanyaki restaurant, which was really fun. So given that there were no major problems with the staff and they were all friendly and helpful, especially in the, the with like their masks on and everything, because it was like in the middle of COVID, I'm gonna be giving the staff an official hotel guy score of five out of seven. So that brings us to the overall score for this hotel. And I will say that despite the room score being lower, I, I that doesn't have a lot of weight for this overall score because the way that I feel about the Hyatt Ziva has a lot more to do with like the amazing amenities and the great food and the great ambiance and everything that the hotel provides outside of the room because if you're really doing that resort right, then you're not spending a lot of time in the room. Before I reveal my final score for this hotel, if you've made it this far in the video and you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for click the subscribe button hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up while you're at it it costs you nothing and it helps you stay 
updated every single time I post a new review. And it also helps me get in front of more travel enthusiasts like you. So that leads me to my official overall score for the Hyatt Ziba, which is a six out of seven. This is an exceptional resort. The food on site is amazing. The staff is great. The room was okay, but the environment, the atmosphere, and the overall experience at that hotel makes this a six out of seven. It really is an exceptional experience. And I would highly, highly recommend that if you are looking to stay in Los Cabos, this is definitely one of the nice resorts that I've stayed at. This is Danny Gold, everyone. I'm the Hotel Guy, and I will catch all of you in the next video.